Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be very very different for me. I am going to be doing a huge 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 closet clean out. Um, as you can kind of see just from this one shelf, I have way too many clothes. It's kind of embarrassing. I have this big walk-in closet and my clothes don't particularly fit they all fit but they all don't fit nicely so and I'm also going to be online shopping so <laughs> I'm going to be making a big order from Shein so watch out for that haul in the future but I need to make room I will give you a closer look at my closet right now but as you guys can tell it is incredibly incredibly full and overpacked um I'm I don't, I'm very organized person, everything is very organized with it, however, there is, like for my shirts, as you can see, um, <laughs> there's not much wiggle room left in it, so I really, really, really need to get rid of some stuff, I do already have a bag that I'm going to be donating, so yeah, um, let's just go right into this video. <laughs> Okay, so I will give you a little bit more of like a before vision, not just like a pan over. Um, guys, I'm going to be filming it on this phone um, just so you can see because one thing I forgot to mention is obviously my closet doesn't have a light in it. My dad built this closet himself. Um, he put this wall up so that I could have a closet. So there is no light in the closet. So, especially this side over here is, like, pretty dark. Like, almost pitch black, I would say. Like, it's pretty dark. The light doesn't hit it at all. This side is a lot better, but it is... It's it's dark in here, is my point. So, I'm going to film a before on my phone. <sighs> Guys, it's embarrassing. So, I'm going to start over here. So right on the wall we have my vision board and then my manifestations. Um, I have on this side of the closet is all the extra hangers, um, my Pittsburgh Penguin jersey, pants, bunny hugs, cardigans, jackets that I don't really wear that often like my bomber, my fall coats, and my raincoats. And then that white bag in the back is my prom dress. Below this hanger is all my suitcases my piano and then this white bag right here is the bag that i am already have put aside to donate um but yeah that is the entire bottom <laughs> it looks messy but it's really just suitcases and like down here is um like lululemon bags reusable bags bathroom bags for traveling stuff like that and then here is where the mess really starts. These are all the stuff. <laughs> These are all the stuffed animals I've decided to keep over the years. This shelf is like notebooks. This is basically like school stuff, cups, and um, my that basket over there has like wall plugins from Bath and Body Works. Again, notebooks and stuff. This shelf's really just miscellaneous shit. Um, this is all like old binders, first aid kit. Um, printer paper band-aids and then beach stuff and then the shelf down here is like travel souvenirs and then in this backpack I keep all my extra stuff and then this then my laundry basket is on the floor there <laughs> oh god hats toques um, and old car stuff because I don't have a vehicle right now so I just put everything up there clothes clothes and towels and swimwear clothes, nail polish, and my dad's moccasins um, that I stole from him. Bunch of shit. Kleenex, obviously. Um, this bag has, like, cords, chargers, shit I don't even know where it belongs to anymore. Um, pictures are behind there. My All my old lifeguard and first aid books. Photo albums. Um cards that are meaningful like that i'll keep forever like my uni convocations boxes like just a bunch of shit down here and then the last side of my closet is we'll start at the bottom back there is all like bedding like extra bedding and extra towels that couldn't fit up there 
So I put them over there as well as like workout shit. This has like bras, underwears, pajamas, cause I don't have a dresser. So this is my dresser, shot glasses on top and then clothes. So this is the only non clothes thing I have um, on the shelf. Long sleeve shirts and oh god, and here, and then short sleeve shirts and here, tank tops. Oh my god, and here, rompers and dresses, and then dress clothes and like proper clothes in the back. Um, so this is the before. Why did that take me so freaking long to just do the before? Oh my god. Okay, so the way I think I'm going to do it is take each side out one at a time. Like the hangers where my clothes are actually hung up. I'm going to take those articles of clothing out and um, make yes, no, maybe piles. And then... For the shelves in here, I think I will just do a time lapse of each shelf because this shelf over here has zero clothes on it. Um, this shelf is half closed, but I think because this video will be like an hour long if I honestly go through it all. So I think that's what I'll do is I'll just take out both sides one at a time. Make yes, no, or maybe, and then time lapse these two shelves. So, okay. I'm like really overwhelmed right now. I've been needing to do this for a while, as you can tell. But, okay, so for here, I'm just going to leave my jewelry hung up because I'll go through that later. But, should I go like long sleeve shirts first? Just so my bed doesn't get overly crowded. I think that's what I'll do. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. I hardly wear long sleeve shirts. Oh. Okay. So, another thing I didn't really mention is I'm going to... Um, concert t-shirts, I keep all of them, even if I don't wear them anymore or ever. Um, it's kind of like, I'm going to be going with the method of if it brings a memory or joy, I'm keeping it. Or if I wear it a lot, I'm keeping it. Um, so like concert t-shirts, prom dress, things like that, I'm obviously going to keep because I collect concert t-shirts, but I need to find... Like, I have so many concert t-shirts that that's what takes up the most space on my shirt rack. But I'll figure that out either along the way. Maybe I'll bring them to my new room. Because I do have a new room in my parents' new house. And then just keep them there because I don't really wear them. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So this is a concert um, sweatshirt that I do actually really enjoy wearing it's very comfortable cozy so I will keep that in the yes pile Kendall and Kylie cropped um, long sleeve also in the keep pile we're not off to a great start I made these so the blue one the pink one the black one and another pink one I made them just this past summer so I will be keeping all those we're really not off to a great start because this goes with matching sweatpants I will be keeping this as well this is new that I haven't worn yet, but I'm going to plan wearing it in the fall because it's like a folly color. So also keeping, not off to a great start because I'm also keeping this because it's new and I haven't worn it yet as well. Again, this is literally one of my favorite tops in the entire world. Keeping it. You guys, is this going to be a fail video? I am so attached to all my belongings that like, I'm also going to keep like travel stuff. So this is from Salt Lake. I'm obviously going to keep it because I, oh shit, I'll probably never go back to Salt Lake. 
Oh my god. My red flannel. I wear a lot, so I'll keep. Again, these have matching sweats, so I'll keep. This was my grandma's top that I took when she passed away. I don't know why I took it. I thought in the moment it would look cute, but I no longer I no longer think I'll wear it. But I don't want to throw it out because it was my grandma's. Should I just... Ugh. Why am I spending so much time on one top? Um, We'll put that in the maybe pile. This is Justin Bieber. Thomas Rhett. Keep. We're really not doing great here. Oh my god. This is also my grandma's. Um, it's one of my favorite tops that I took from her, so I'm obviously keeping it. <laughs> this is um, the shirt I wore to my grad party from high school. So, keep. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy, keep. My shit-ass school, I guess I'll keep. Netflix and don't touch me. You guys, I suck. Keep. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in myself. This, I love this top. Keep. <laughs> oh my god. Pittsburgh Penguins. Do I love it that much though? <sighs> yeah, keep. This one is my first no. This one, I, I love it. I love the color, but the bottom is shit. Um, the material, like, I don't know, it's just... It's not it. Um, so that can donate. One donate. Um, this, I think my grandma, oh shit. Um, my grandma did get me this top. I think it's cute. I don't know if I'll ever wear it. Because I've never worn it before. So I am going to donate that as well. As well as, oh. This is like velvet material. Keep. <laughs> Lululemon, I love this top. Keep. Pink, I also love this top. Keep. This green one from American Eagle. Keep. This plaid, however, I will donate. Um, this pink Lululemon. You know, I feel like I'm attached to this just because I want it to look good on me. And because it was a lot of money. Keep. <laughs> I'm literally just so attached to my clothes. And then this one is like my team, my old hockey team um, from high school. And it has my name on the back, so I keep that. Well, I donated three long sleeve shirts. <sighs> I think I'll see if anyone in my family wants this shirt. So four donated, and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-four. Oh my god. I kept 27 and donated 4. What the hell is wrong with me? Okay. This is the real problem. 67 short sleeve t-shirts. Why? And I can guarantee I'm not getting rid of half of them. I can guarantee I'm probably not even getting rid of a quarter of them. I am literally such a warder when it comes to clothes. Because I'm always like, what if I want to wear this one day? And then I don't have it anymore. I suck. But this is new. I wear it all the time. Yes. This 
I also wear all the time. Yes. This one, I could probably manage without because I don't wear it as often anymore. But I really like it with my Army Green Lululemons. So, keep them. This I just made this past summer. Keep. This I can donate. Okay, we're off to a better start than last time. This one I also really like. So we'll keep. This one is new. Keep. This one I also really like. Keep. New. Keep. This one's a Humboldt Broncos, so I'll keep um, that. This one's also new. Keep. New. Keep. This one's friends. So keep. Adidas. It's always nice just to have a black t-shirt. My green bodysuit. I'll keep this one I can donate. Oh crap. Um keep pink pink bodysuit keep. My grandma got this one in Ireland. I don't wear it, but because it's a travel one, I keep. This one's also my grandma's that I took when she passed away, so I'll keep. This one is also my grandma's I took when she passed away. Is it like a pink? It's like an orange again. Yeah, I can see myself wearing it. This one's also my grandma's, and I will see if somebody else wants it. Oh, this one can donate. This is concert. So now we're getting into the concert shirts, and that's everything I'm keeping. So Demi and Nick, Mariana's Trench, Carrie Underwood, John Mellencamp, Down with Webster. This burgundy top, I can donate. LMFAO, Ed Sheeran, Eric Church, Eric Church, Ed Sheeran, Eric Church. This is honestly probably, no word of a lie, one of my favorite t-shirts ever. It's a concert t-shirt. It's really big on me now. I've lost weight since grade like eight, guys. Um, I really like it. It's super comfortable. Definitely one of my faves. Um, Nickelback. Dean Brody, Bruno Mars, Miranda Lambert, Dallas Smith, Tim and Faith, Blake Shelton, Blake Shelton, Selena Gomez, Katy Perry, Garth Brooks, Dirks Bentley, Demi Lovato, Dirks Bentley, Carrie Underwood, Maroon 5, Miami, Florida, Again, because it's a travel shirt, I will keep it. Um, Miami. Pittsburgh Penguins. Stanley Cup 2017 champion. This says where I live on it. Oh god, is that going to fall? Okay. This one I can also donate. So we are doing much better than last time. Um, another Pittsburgh one. Yeah, I'll keep. Again, where I live. Gryffindor, Harry Potter, of course, keep. Penguins, keep. I really like that one. This one I can donate. It's from Garage. It's really, really cute, but I don't have the chest for it. Like, you need boobs I think to wear it but it's like a crisscross up here and you can wear it not crisscross but crisscross in the back or crisscross not crisscross in the back anyway um Reebok I can donate again Pittsburgh I can donate this one just a plain black I can donate My mom's a realtor. This is People First with her logo on it. Ooh, Bubba Gump. 
again, travel. I got this one in Vegas. Drunk, <laughs> drunk one, like, um, I have the actual one. Thing one, drunk one. Um, I would, this is travel, so I will keep it, but I would throw it out because I'm no longer close with the person who has drunk number two shirt that I got for us. Another Bubba Gump. This one's really cute. Um, I Heart New York in pink. Travel. I Heart New York in white. Travel. Another Where I Live shirt. Manila. My friend got me this in the Philippines. And then, again, that thing one. Which, again, I'm going to keep because it is a travel shirt. However... The person who I gave thing to, to, I no longer talk to. So, I, there was what, 67? And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven things I'm donating. That's, that's honestly depressing how happy I am that I got that much away. But, so I kept 56 out of 67 god there's something wrong with me <laughs> okay so i don't have many tank tops <laughs> that's a lie okay i do but not as many as other clothes i have two five eight eleven fifteen twenty twenty five ten 25 tank tops however I pretty much live in tank tops like I'm not gonna lie I live in Canada I was always considered weird because I would wear tank tops in winter I don't know I think they're really cute and I'm always hot so this one I'm keeping because I love this one and a lot of these are new too so of course I'm gonna keep them because they're new um, keep because it's new keep because it's new this one I will donate it is a black bodysuit from American Eagle that's too big so this is what it looks like just basic black but like the armholes are way too big that like it just doesn't sit right anymore I really love this it's a uh, New Balance tank top this is an undershirt from American Eagle so I'm going to donate it I love this top. This one I'm going to donate. Surprisingly, I do like it, but it's a pain in the ass because it's like, I'm not even going to try and show you, but like, it's one of those Lululemons that show a lot of skin. Um, keep because it's new. Um, black bodysuit from American Eagle. I do have two of these. They sent me two by accident. Um, should I keep both? Or should I donate one? There's no need to have two. What am I even thinking about? Um, keep because it's new. Keep because it's new. This one I love. It's a lot longer on than it looks, but love that. This is like one of my only dress shirts, so we'll keep that. Lululemon tank top so we'll keep that again one of the only dress shirts I have we will donate this new balance one um we'll donate this one as well this is what the front looks like I got it for my birthday and initially I thought this tie was super super cute but I don't have the boobs to make it cute so we'll donate you this one is super cute, it's velvet. 
my mom says it looks like lingerie. Joke's on her. It's supposed to be lingerie, but got no one else to wear it for. So might as well wear it for the world. Um, this can zone it. It is one of the cutest tops ever. Um, it just has this tie in the front. You can't even see because I'm wearing a black shirt. But it's crop top, cute, but it was very shit material. This one, I honestly just keep for sentimental reasons. It's literally, I can't even. Um, so out of style, but I love it. I just can't part with it. I've had it since I was like 17. This one, Lifeguard Off Duty. This is just something we got at work. This one is also super cute. I don't know how to wear it yet because of the back. Is like all ripped up. I don't want people to see my bra, so uh, probably a sticky bra, but anyway, keeping it. Don't know why I'm going into such detail on my goddamn bra. And then concert Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. That one was easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven out of 25, I got rid of. That one was easy. Okay, so. I don't think I'll be getting rid of much of this, but this is like rompers, dresses, and dress clothes. So this first romper, I'm not even going to take off the hook because I know I'm going to keep it. This second one, again, I'm going to keep it. Um, I have to... Oh, this dress is new. But here's my dilemma with this. These dresses are the exact same, just different skirting. Literally, the design on the top exact same same lace same everything it's just the skirt is different I love this dress to no extent like I love it so much that's why I bought this one because I was like ooh, I can wear them more often do I keep both do you see the problem I'm in oh I see a problem I'm in. I got this one in extra large, but this one fits like a T. Fits like a glove, and it's only a large. So is this one going to be too big? I'm keeping both. Um. So this one is kind of funny. My cousin and I have the same dress, and we both wore it to my grandma's funeral keep or not no I can donate you I'll actually see if one of my friends wants it because she's always asking to borrow my dresses um red one from H&M super cute I'll keep this one I'll keep as well but this one is actually new but it's too big so I'm also going to donate it. I might might regret that if I gain any more weight throughout COVID, but whatever. Um, blazer and dress pants. Obviously, I'll keep more dress pants I took from my grandma when she passed away. This was my grandma's dress she got in, I can't remember, Puerto Rico or Portugal. I can't remember where they went, but really long I won't wear it really ever but she wore it to my grad and I love pink she wore it to my grad because I love pink um, so I'm gonna keep that one sentimental reasons again more dress pants that I took from her and then this kind of work top I thought would be cute for an office job so I'm quite impressed I didn't think I would get rid of anything I got rid of two things um, However, I think I'm going to take a break. I really haven't got much accomplished, but I think I'm going to take a break. And I might do one of the shelves tonight, but I have to go to the farm and cook supper right now. So, um, I'm going to finish this tomorrow. For you, it's in like a second, but I'm going to take a break, come back, maybe do the rest of my shelves tonight. Or not the rest, do half the shelves tonight and then finish this tomorrow morning. So... Yeah, I will see you in a second, but if I look different, if I'm wearing different clothes, that's that's why. It's because it's tomorrow for me. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs>
progress. Okay, you guys, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be making this into two parts because I have over an hour worth of footage and I don't want to make like a half hour long closet clean out or like an hour long closet clean out. I guess they're going to be like two half hour closet clean outs. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this is going to be two parts. So that is, that is it for this part. Me English, make sure you come back Monday to check out the second part of this closet clean out. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I hope you subscribe so you never miss a video, and I will see you on Monday for the second part of this closet clean out. Bye.